Good day, we will be talking about determinant of matrix using fibotal condensation. As every student knows, given a 2 by 2 matrix, its determinant is equal to AD minus BC. Although 2 by 2 determinants can be calculated very easily, computing determinants is more time consuming for larger matrices. One way of calculating this matrices is by chaofibotal condensation. Chaofibotal condensation is a method for evaluating and square determinant in terms of n minus 1, n minus 1 determinants. The method is repeated on the n minus 1, n minus 1 determinant to reduce it to an n minus 2, n minus 2 determinant in much the same way. Continuing in this manner, the original determinant is eventually reduced to a single number which represents the determinant of the original matrix. The formula for this is determinant of A is equal to determinant B all over A ij raised to n minus 2. A represents the first element or the fibot element while n represents the number of rows and columns of the matrix. In order to fully understand this method, let's have an example. Let's find the determinant of matrix A. This is a 4x4 matrix. First, we will choose our 5 point. It must be a non-zero number that may be a negative or positive number. In this case, I choose the 1. Then, after choosing the pivot element, we will apply the formula which is the determinant of A is equal to 1 all over A which is the 1 raised to N which is 4 minus 2. We will be focusing on this row and column. Take the two elements, which is the 1 and 2. This 1 and 2 is common for row 1. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 and 2. Then, negative 2 and 1, 0 and negative 5. 3 and negative 1. Next, we have 1 and 1, which is also common for row 2. 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 1. Then, we have negative 2 and 0. Negative 2, 0. 0 and 2. 0, 2, and 3. 3, 3, and 3. Then, we have 1 and 4, which is common for row 3. For this square matrices, we have negative 2 and 2. Then, 0 and 1. Then, 3 and 3. We can solve this square matrices by using the basket width method. For example, 1 times 1 is equal to 1, then 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4, then 1 minus negative 4 is equal to 5. After computing that, we have 5, negative 5, negative 7, 2, 2, 0, 10, 1, negative 9. As you can see, first we have 4 by 4. And then after that, it reduces to 3 by 3. This will be our matrix B. And we will again get the determinant of this matrix. Again, we will choose a fibot element. In this case, I choose... 2. And then we will again create a 2 by 2 matrices. 
we will be focusing on this column and row. We have 5 and then negative 5 and then we have 2 and negative 2. And 5, 2, negative 5, 2. Then we will be starting here negative 5, negative 7, 2, and 0. Negative 5, negative 7, 2, 0. Then 2, and then the 5 of the element, 2, and then 10, 1, 2, 0, 1, and negative 9. Then after that, we will again find the determinant using the basket weave method. 5 times 2 is equal to 10, and then 2 times negative 5 is equal to negative 10, 10 minus negative 10 is equal to 20. After applying the basket weave method, we get 20, 14, negative 18, and negative 18. Since we have a 2 by 2 matrices from 3 by 3, don't forget to apply the formula 1 all over 2, which is our pivot element raised to 3 which is the number of rows and column minus 2. We can now solve for the determinant of T matrix A. The determinant of A is equal to 1. It came from this times 1 half. It came from this times the determinant of this matrix and the answer will be negative 54. That's all for today and thank you for listening.